Hello everybody, today is March 28th, 2023, and we're here at Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park. And I'm gonna take you to dine at a restaurant that is consistently listed as one of the best and most popular restaurants in Disney World, but somehow, I've never dined there before. It's called Tusker House, and it's a buffet, and you can meet Disney characters in their adorable safari outfits, so it's kind of like a rare character outfit, meet and greet situation. And since I've never dined there before, I'm gonna bring you with me and bring you along for the full experience. You know the drill in my dining videos, it's about more than just the food, it's about the whole experience, the theming, the decor, the characters, everything. It's also spring break, it's also extremely hot out, so I'm really happy that we're gonna be inside in the AC somewhere, so let's go. I always think it's so cool that you can see Pandora from out here at the entrance of the park, but it blends in so well. Of course, the first big thing you see when you enter Discovery Island is the Tree of Life. It's the symbol of Disney's Animal Kingdom. We're gonna head towards the Africa section of the park. Continuing back to Africa. Just gonna quick walk through the Otter Grotto. The underground section gets really crowded when it's hot out because everyone's trying to get shade. Oh, I see them. See that See that Cute. Yeah, they're sleeping in there. But it's one of a few different places here in Animal Kingdom where you can get a look underwater and above both. And it's really cool. But they're over there kind of sleeping right now. And you know you've reached Africa when you get to these big wooden gates. They're ornately carved, really beautiful animals carved in them, and they keep passing through. And as we enter the Africa section of the park, we enter the Port of Harambe, which is a fictional town they created for Disney's Animal Kingdom. Keep your eyes on the waterways too, because you'll often see little boat cavalcades with characters on them and off in the distance, you can see Expedition Everest. I have a feeling Festival of the Lion King show just let out because suddenly it is swarmed with people. And it's definitely crowded, but there's a lot of people that come out right after a show lets out. By the way, if you're ever not sure where something is in a Disney park, you can open the map section and it'll give you directions to walk there. And here it is. I am looking forward to getting inside, getting out of the heat and crowds. All right, I went ahead and checked in in the app and now I'm just waiting in the shade to get my text or a notification in the app that my table's ready. Animal Kingdom has some of the best theming of any theme park out there. All right, right around the corner, up the ramp, they said, because I got my text. Ooh, Jumbo Travelers, your adventure awaits. Upon receiving your text page, proceed ahead through the blue doors into the Biashara Courtyard. There's the blue doors. Thank you. I've never dined here before. Here's the main dining area and where the buffet is located. We're going into the Safari Orientation Center. First things first, when I sat down, I got this character postcard with their signatures on it. You can also get them to sign things. And I ordered an iced tea. Maybe I'll try a specialty cocktail too. We'll see. Got my table and I'm gonna go get some food from the buffet. I see Goofy. These are the desserts. We'll go for these later. They're really cute though. Sort of a charcuterie situation here too after the bread. It seems like the bread is a hot commodity, so I got a little, but I moved out of the way. These look nice, some salads. Vegetarian. Of the fire back there. There's quite a lot. I might have to come back for seconds. Oh my god, Donald! Oh my god, Mickey! All right, Mickey's in my room. I haven't missed him, they said. Hopefully, I didn't miss him. I feel like I can't dig into my food because the minute I take a bite, they're gonna be at my table. But I think I have time. They have to work all the way around. 
The green curry shrimp is so good. That's like a favorite so far. I'm still kind of working in here, but Mickey's coming, so I gotta wait now. Yeah, Mickey, you're the cutest. I love your safari outfit. We waited, we waited. You got the water too, so you don't get thirsty. It's hot out there, Mickey. It's hot, man. Oh, thank you. Can I get a photo with you? Oh, yes, I know, I know. It's because I know Donald is here. So, you know. Protect from the sun, the vest, keep all your supplies, your safari supplies, cool shoes, khaki. I need to get some khaki, Mickey. I need to get on it for next visit. <laughs> you look good, thank you so much, thank you. Donald and Goofy are coming next. This is it, this is my moment. So my zebra bread got kind of buried in the sauce of the meat and it tastes so good. It's like when you take bread to like sop up your soup. It tastes so good. Goofy, hi, oh I have to be on. Show your handsomeness in here. Oh my goodness, I love it. <laughs> you are ready for the safari here. You looking good. You looking ready. I love it. <laughs> Always all the style and the flair. Everybody knows. I love a little Can I get a photo with you? I guess I'd take a million just in case, you know? <laughs> Thank you so much. I hope you get some food too later. You have the extra flair, I gotta say. This is like a cool... You guys can't see my face, but I am in awe. My jaw is on the floor. <laughs> Thank you so much! He's watching over everything out here. You're doing a great job. I decided to go ahead and get one of the specialty cocktails. This is the Tikiti Punch. Very simple, just vodka and lemonade, basically. That's good. All right, now that the characters have passed through my room, and they'll be back again, but I at least got to meet them once, I'm chowing down. And everything is really flavorful, really fresh tasting, even though it's been sitting here for like 15 minutes or so while I've been meeting with the characters and I've only taken a few bites. It's still really good and fresh. And this is delicious. It's watermelon lemonade and vodka. I mean, you can't go wrong. It's simple but effective and it tastes strong. So it tastes really, really good. One of my goals for this meal is to not have quinoa in my teeth in any of the character pictures. But the quinoa is really good, everything. There's not one thing on this plate that I don't care for. It's all delicious. Everything has its own flavor. And even though I put it all in one plate, it all stands out as its own thing. All right, it's time to go up for another round. And while I do, I'll show you some of the theming here. This is a large restaurant. It's in the Harambe Marketplace. Donald and Mickey and Goofy are walking around in their safari outfits. There's costumes and instruments and artifacts meant to represent different regions of Africa, and I was told that some of them are authentically sourced. And we know that Imagineers created a lot of this as well as an homage.
food is African inspired and the theming is meant to fit into the Africa area of the park. It's a very family friendly dining space. There's a lot of people having a good time, a lot of kids and families. It's a really fun, lively atmosphere and a beautiful dining space. The braised beef is one of my favorites. Really, really tender and the sauce is delicious. The rotisserie pork is another favorite. It is cooked to perfection, it is so good. The curry shrimp is definitely a favorite too. That one is just delicious. Cute. I love this s'mores pop. It's got the tree of life on it, this brownie. This was the warm bread pudding, so I had to go ahead and get that. And I gotta try that while it's still warm. The African Malva bread pudding, it has blueberry and banana in it. It tastes so good. You can see the blueberry in it. It's so warm and soft and sweet. That is the best that is so good it's kind of mixed in with the food across from the dessert so make sure you don't miss it there were a group of kids all around saying how good these were so i was like they know they know it looks like it looks so cute i mean it was basically just a marshmallow and i like marshmallows but it wasn't anything crazy special but it was good and it was cute now i gotta try this cookie that got like crumbled somehow Very chocolate, very chocolate. That's a good cookie. Oh my gosh, this cookie is so good. I didn't expect much, but it is so chocolatey. It's almost all chocolate. Like there's a million chips in there and it's so melty. Like look, that's just from holding it for one second. It's so soft and chocolatey and delicious. I'll have 10 more, please. I, I won't, but I'd like to. And Goofy's coming again. Oh, look, he's gonna surprise someone, how cute. All right, so two character go rounds. It's been a less than an hour, I think. Oh my gosh, they have a stack of autograph books that all the characters are signing. Mickey, hi, it's me, hi. All done. Thank you, <laughs> have a great one. All right, all done. I just finished eating, whoa, it's bright out. Ooh, let's pop those on. Yeah, it was so good. Everything was delicious. The shrimp was definitely a standout. Some of the carved meats were a standout. Well, let's get those on right. <laughs> the characters were absolutely the standout. Now that was $59 per adult, plus I paid extra for the drink that I got. And you know, buffets here at Disney World are around $40 to $50 usually, and character buffets tend to be a little more expensive because what you're paying for isn't just the food, it's the character interactions, the personalized character interactions, and their special little outfits. Hold on, I hear a cavalcade. There they are. <laughs> All right, good afternoon, adventurers. Woo! We the Discovery Island drummers. The Discovery Island drummers, love them. Oh, oh my gosh, it's oh. Russell. How cute is that? I don't know that I've seen him on a boat cavalcade. He's exploring. <laughs> I can tell another one's coming because I hear music. Oh yeah, it's cavalcade time. Here comes another. Nice, we got a Lion King. Say hi to Timon and Rafiki. Cute. <laughs> so you can see them from up on the bridge, from either side of the bridge. And what's cool about the bridge is you can see them coming and then going. So it's one of my favorite spots. 
I'm gonna continue with my thoughts. I just had to run over to see the drummers. We find a spot to stand in. I'm always trying to find a spot to stand in that's kind of in a corner, out of people's way, not bothering anyone, but kind of, you know, having a little space. And finding those kind of spaces on a crowded day is usually rare, but look at this. This is because, I know why it's like this. This is because there's a Lion King show going on, so everybody's in, but when they come out or when they're waiting to go in, it's madness out here, but this is nice. It's just me and the strollers, and you. But every little space you can find has really cool theming. Even hidden back here, where nobody would be behind this wall, except if you're parking a stroller, and there's more here, that's cool. Okay, I'm back in my corner. Um, but yeah, I do think it's a really good dining experience. It is pricey as are all buffets and all character dining and pretty much all dining here at Disney World. You know, it's a theme park, it's a tourist attraction, it is what it is, but I do think you get a lot for your money. It's all you care to eat. The buffet is huge. There's even more than what I was able to eat. There's so much more, but everything I did eat was really good. I thought it was really good quality food. Everything was fresh. They seemed to be out of hummus though the whole time. I never got to try the hummus because it was empty just constantly, which was, I really wanted to try it because I love hummus, but I guess hummus is popular, which is always a good thing. I think this is one of the few places in Disney World where you can get a buffet with very different food. There are buffets and restaurants that Animal Kingdom Lodge, the resort, but they don't have the characters, at least not at this moment. So if you wanna see some of your favorite Disney pals, Mickey and Donald and Goofy, that's who was there today, in adorable safari outfits. And you're not just waiting in a line and getting your photo taken, you get interaction. Goofy sat at my table when the camera was off. I had even more fun interactions with them. And I'll show you some of the pictures because I couldn't even like, I wasn't even filming. I was just laughing and having a blast with Mickey. I danced with Goofy. There's so many things that happened. Like the camera, I couldn't even turn the camera on fast enough. And I was like, forget it. This is just, this is happening and I'm gonna love it. And I did. It's so, so cute and so fun. And they really take their time with everybody and make everybody feel special, but still move efficiently and quickly enough that you're not waiting forever. I think they do a great job with that and the theming is really unique, very Animal Kingdom. You can take your time in there, get out of the sun, relax with your family, eat a bunch of delicious food and desserts. And uh, yeah, if you're looking for somewhere different to dine, to meet characters here at Animal Kingdom, I gotta say, I give Tusker House a big thumbs up too. Here's the other one. It's such a beautiful day, even though it is really hot in the 90s, but I love finding these shaded pathways to just stroll around in giant Galapagos turtles. Why are they so cute? Hello, good tortoise. Oh, shall we have a bit of a move around? Is that what we're doing? I don't blame you. It's quite warm out. Is that a log or a piece of tortoise poop? Not sure. Look at how cute. Oh, the other one's going too. It's kind of like crowds at Disney. When one person starts moving in one direction, everybody's like, hmm, I want to I wanna see. I want to see what's going on too. So everybody follows. <laughs> if there's a line or a crowd, everybody gets in it. I think they're going to get some more shade. Galapagos tortoises can be found near shady trees in open woodland on the Galapagos Islands in the Pacific Ocean. They weigh 250 to 500 pounds, have a hard bony shell that can measure more than four feet. There's nothing like finding shady areas to chill in a theme park on a hot day, especially the shady paths at Animal Kingdom where you can often find animals just chilling in their habitats, like the tortoises. Let's walk under and around the tree of life. I love all the little caves and nooks in Animal Kingdom. We're under the tree of life right now. We're inside the tree of life. Of course you can watch It's a Bug's Life, which is like a show thing inside the tree of life. It's 3D. They ask you not to film, so even though I do watch it occasionally, I don't usually include it in videos because I can't really film it, but it's a cute, a very, very cute show. Oh, I want to jump in. I want to jump in. 
spot. This is the Tree of Life branches. There's a, uh, what is that, an anteater? But there's all sorts of animals hidden inside the Tree of Life. Hundreds of animals. Whoa, whoa. Oh yeah, I can fit through here. I'm on an expedition. Enthused. So next time you're here, see how many animals you can spot carved into the tree of life. It's a lot. And that's where I just walked through. And that's so cool to come out and see this majesty. Oh look, the moon's out. Love when the moon's out during the day. Check out this octopus, that's cool. This horse, this noble steed. There are so many animals on this side. It's incredible. Look, a baby inside the kangaroo. I hear an announcement. Who's coming? <gasps> Launchpad McQuick and Scrooge. How cool is that? Yes, I dare. I love them. I love them. If you kind of hang out near that waterway, the character boat cavalcades will keep coming. I'm using a lot of alliteration today in this video. Oh my gosh. Wow. Pocahontas. Oh my god, beautiful, wow. Oh, I could just hang out here all day and watch characters go by. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh, the otters are out and playing. They're frisky. There you go, look. They're gonna go in the water. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Let's see if we can go down there and see them. <gasps> so cute. But the otters are really active right now. This is great. They were sleeping earlier, but now they're having their afternoon play around, rolling around in the dirt, swimming in the water. They're, I'm sure, cooling off from the heat, and they are so cute. <laughs> And here's another viewing area. It's a little further away, but you can still see them. But the underwater one is tops. Gotta have a pop in the island mercantile. Let's see what kind of new merchandise they've got out. The section of Pandora merchandise is still here. And it's grown, there's a lot. They got the drums, the banshee rookery. So you can purchase your own banshee for $69.99. And different creatures and settings and sets basically these are really cool try me <gasps> neat it glows like it like a Pandora at night that's cool check this tree of life out I 
And here's what it looks like open. It's $59.99. It actually looks incredible. It's got all sorts of little animals, Mickey and Minnie, and safari outfits. A lounge fly, it looks like. Is it a lounge fly? Yes, it is. With Safari Mini. That is, I love it. Oh, this is a unique photo frame. He's like looking through binoculars and you can put your little pics in there. This is also new to me, this Encanto merchandise. And it says new arrival, this just in. Look at this, if you can read this, the rats fell off. This is so cute. Oh, and it's like a plush material. Oh, look at the inside pattern. Oh, that's nice. Let's see, let me show you the whole thing. That's nice. Well, you know, I can't come to Animal Kingdom without seeing some animals, and I'm so glad I did. And you know there's so much more than this. You know, I love the safari and the Gorilla Falls exploration trail, all the little trails. I love seeing the bats, especially all the animals. And Animal Kingdom is a beautiful park. I think it's kind of underrated. It has some of my favorite rides, like Expedition Everest. <laughs> I think is a really fun dark ride. Its counterpart is Indiana Jones at Disneyland. Completely different themed rides, but similar ride vehicle and mechanisms. Navi River Journey, which I think is just a relaxing, beautiful dark ride boat ride, which I love. So many of my favorite rides here at this park, and there's so many good places to eat, and I feel like there's more food options in this park than you realize, but now, We've tried Tusker House, and I gotta say, it's top notch. It's really, really good. You get a really good experience for your money. It is loud in there. It's for actually sitting in there and dining. It is loud. There's a lot of noise and clatter, but I think that a lot of big buffets are just like that. So just know that if you do that, it's gonna be like a big, loud, fun experience. It's like a party. There's characters everywhere. It's not like a quiet, intimate dining experience. There are places that do offer that, but that is not one of them. If you want a little bit more of a quieter experience, I'd recommend Nomad Lounge, which is really, really nice, which I've also shown before in past videos, and it's more chill and laid back. And it does seem a little more adult, but I also see people with kids in there all the time, and the kids seem to love it too. So as you can probably see, I am melting. I am <laughs> drenched. It is hot, and it's time to go home. So once again, thanks for hanging out with me. I'm sending you a ton of love. I'll see you for the next video. And until then, as always, stay enthused. Bye.